Welcome to today's class. This class is called Circulate to Feel Great. Um, I'm really committed to creating classes for you that are shorter but compact. And so we'll just get started right now. Go ahead and grab your block and let's bring the block in between or on the back or on your back um, in line with like the jog bra area, more like the middle of the spine, a little bit higher. And hold the back of your head so that you don't let your chin pop up. Really, it's just going to stay neutral and you'll hold your head. This is, a, so while we're here, I'll give you a little bit more information about the class. The idea here is that by getting some movement and space in your thoracic spine, which is what we are uh, mobilizing right now with the block, by getting more space and movement here, we can feel better throughout the day, can feel a little bit more spacious, and like we can take deeper and more meaningful breaths. So we can even start that right now, breathing into the sides of your ribs. Also, in when you reach your arms overhead to grab a cup or anything that you do, you know, practicing yoga, practicing handstands, a little bit, those last few degrees of shoulder flexion are because of your ability to do this with your spine, be able to have your, your thoracic spine a little more mobile. Now, of course, when you reach your arms overhead, you won't thrust your ribs forward like this. That's not really what we're doing, but we're just giving, we're giving more space and more mobility to the thoracic spine overall. Now, go ahead and lift your head off the floor, lifting up, lifting up, come off the block. And let's place the block between your thighs, then most narrow way, lift up into a bridge pose. And as you are in bridge pose, make sure your chin, again, is not lifting up towards the ceiling. That instead it is more of a neutral position. And then bring your fingertips to your sternum. It's right in between, right in the middle of the chest. And then move that part of your chest, of your ribs, down towards the floor a little bit more. And as you have this, breathe a little bit more into the sides of the ribs. Maybe even if you can imagine the space right below your shoulder blades, breathe into that space. And then reach both arms up to the ceiling. Let's pull the right fingers back towards your face. Go ahead and lift and spread your toes. and sense your glutes really firing up to support your, your movement here. Let's switch hands, pull the left fingers back. So some things that can really impact your ability to mobilize your thoracic spine, which is the part of the spine that's connected to your rib cage. Some things that can challenge that are um, forward head position, um, having your arms more forward of your body when you're standing and having tight chest muscles like ch tight, tight pec minor, tight pec major. So we'll, we'll influence some of those pieces of your anatomy today and your uh, posture to better suit more movement and to feel great. Lower your spine all the way down. Lift your legs straight up to the ceiling. Hold the back of your head and take a breath in through the nose. As you exhale, lift off your head, off your shoulders, and look down towards the deep abdominals, pulling the diamond of the lower abs away from the block. And lower shoulders and head as you inhale. Exhale as you lift up. Stay here. Look at the front of the block and turn the front of the block towards the left side of the room, good, and then come back to center, turn the block to the right side of the room. 
come back to center. Lower shoulders and head inhale. Exhale, lift up. Connect to the deep abdominals. Pull down. Turn the block again to the left. Come back to center. Turn the block to the right. And the whole time you can feel your sacrum still on the floor. It's not lifting up off the floor. Come back to center. Lower shoulders and head inhale. Exhale, lift up. Turn your ribs to the left. Stay here. Turn the block to the left. Come back to center. Turn the block to the right. Hold. Come back to center. Bring the ribs back to center and lower inhale. Exhale, lift up. Turn your ribs to the right. Turn the block to the left. Come back to center. Turn the block to the right. Come back to center, ribs back to center, and lower inhale. One more round. Exhale, lift up. Actually, one more time, really. Turn your ribs to the left. Stay here. Turn the block to the left. Turn the block to the right. Come back to center. Turn your ribs to the right. Now stay up, stay up. Turn the block to the left. Turn the block to the right. Come back to center. Come back and lower. Woo! All right. <laughs> come on up. And let's come up to hands and knees, tabletop. So hopefully you're already feeling a little bit more buzzy, feeling pretty good. I'm gonna just add on to that. Let's reach your right arm up to the ceiling and thread the needle. Bring the right shoulder toward the floor and the side of your right head on the floor. Reach your left leg back. And right now your toes can turn out just a tad, a little bit of external rotation. And just hold here for a moment. Bring the left knee back in, reach the right arm up, and lower your right hand to the floor. Reach the left arm up. Doesn't have to be a big twist, right? So it's just enough to open up the chest. Bring the left arm underneath, left, for, left, side, left side of your head to the floor, reach your right leg. A little bit of external rotation of the right leg. Got a little, a little bit of a pop there. So you're resisting gravity here. Instead of letting the ribs shift towards the floor, I want you to really pick up the ribs and breathe into the right side. Right knee onto the floor. Let's come on to table. And then we'll lower your forearms down, let your head release, lift up in a dolphin. So as you're in dolphin, if this feels like a new, if this is a newer pose for you, a really challenging pose for you, what I want you to focus on is lifting the front of the ribs up and away from the mat and really deepening the hip crease right where the, um, the right where you could kind of tuck your fingers into the hip folds. And then just turn your toes and knees to the right an inch, and then turn your knees and toes to the left an inch, and then to the right, and then to the left. And it's really like you're scrubbing your the pads of your feet on the floor. Let's go one more time each side. And then we'll make our way to the knees and then come up to stand at the front of your mat. If you like to use music, this is a good time to put on music for yourself. And we'll come up together. Let's reach your arms forward and up as you inhale. Exhale as you fold, hinging at the hip creases here. Step your right foot back, lower the right knee, and let's come up into a low lunge. Bring your right hand to the front of the sacrum, front of the core, left hand to the sacrum, and sandwich the deep muscles here. Kind of like you could pull, like almost like a waffle iron effect here. And as you're here, pull the left heel back and the right knee forward at the same time. So you get this like deep sense of stability in the lower body. Take a big inhale. 
and an exhale here. Bring your fingers into the sternum again like you did in your bridge pose earlier and really move the ribs back in space and then come back to neutral. Move the ribs back in space, drop the chin and come back to center. Let's do that again. Move the ribs back in space, lower the chin and come back last time. Ribs back, chin down, maybe gets this really awesome stretch in the right thigh. And we come back to center. You can just float yourself into your low lunge again. Open to goddess pose to the right. Left hand in front, right hand to the back. And let's just begin to pulse in your goddess pose. And as you're pulsing, one thing to note here, we talked about your when your chest muscles are really tight, how that can impact your ability to really have um, a rotational ability. Open up the chest here, bring the shoulder blades back slightly and tuck the tailbone just the tiniest bit. Pulsing. Let's turn to the back of the mat into downward facing dog. It's nice to be on your hands, right? It's a really nice way to get the core to work with you. Turn your knees and toes to the right. Come back to center, turn your knees and toes to the left. Come back to center, turn to the right and to the left. We'll do that a couple more times. A little massage for the feet. And then come forward into high plank pose. Lower your knees and then lower slowly, controlling the descent as you go down. Untuck the toes and pull your hands back to lift up in the chest, lifting up in the front body. Downward facing dog. Take the huge breath in and huge breath out. Cross your left foot Cross your right foot, I apologize. Cross your right foot so your pinky toes match. And walk your hands back to your feet. Coming into a cross ankle forward fold. Right now my right heel is not on the floor, but I'm gonna bring it down onto the floor. Let your head relax here for a second. Keep lifting up into the bowl of your pelvis. And then turn to your left. Keep turning, keep turning. And then lift the right leg up into a standing L. Take your, bring your palms flat to the floor. Slight bend to the knee. Stay here for just another breath. And then step your right foot down. Exhale, fold, hinge at the hips. Rise up, breathe in. Fold as you breathe out. Left foot steps back. Lower the left knee. Keep your back toes tucked as you rise up. Let's go left hand in the front, right hand to the back, and sandwich, waffle iron, panini, whatever you can think of, whatever makes sense for you. Hold the core. And pull the right heel back and the left knee forward. And really, again, get that sense of amazing stability from the lower body. and bring the fingertips to your sternum. And then move your sternum back, lower the chin. It's almost like you're going into a little bit of a meditative cave here for a second. And then come back up. And then go into that little meditation space, meditation cave. And come back up. One more time. And come back to center. Let your head just float up. Big breath in. Open up to goddess facing the left. Let's go right hand in the front, left hand in the back. And we can just pulse here. 
And now as you're pulsing, you're getting this dynamic stretch for the hips and just feeling that slight bounce. Maybe that's starting to make you feel great as well. And we'll turn to the back of the mat, stepping into downward facing dog. And down dog, turn your toes and knees to the left and to the right, massaging the bottoms of your feet with your sticky mat. And then we'll turn, rather come to center for plank pose. Hold your core strong, hold the central channel, lower the knees, lower the rest of your body. Let's lift up into Cobra, pull back on the hands, lift the front body. Downward facing dog. This time cross your left ankle in front so your pinky toes match up. And then walk your hands back. And then your, right, your left heel may still be off the floor. Go ahead and lower it down as much as you can. Hit, feel the hip crease deepen. Really amazing stretch for the the side seam of your right leg. And then turn to the right as you come into standing L on your right leg. Palms can be down on the floor. Arms are strong like tree trunks. Eyes are basically right in the line between the index fingers or between the thumbs. Step the left foot down, exhale. Rise to stand, breathe in. Exhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Interlace your hands together at your sacrum. Open up the chest wall. So this is more of what we tend to do throughout the day where the shoulders move, the head of the arms are forward. I want you to actively pull them up. Shoulder blades a little bit together and very little and down. Head is neutral. Put more weight into your left leg. Step your right foot back into a lunge, tilted lunge. Fire up the back leg. Fire up the core. Reach your right arm forward beside your ear. Hold. And lower your right hand down to the floor. Lift your left arms into a twisted lunge. Right ear relaxes. Keep this right uh, head of the arm bone from popping forward. Keep it tacked onto your back. That will help you feel great as well. Let's rotate. Bring the left arm underneath the uh, front leg. Tap your right side ribs with your fingers. Let's do it a couple more times. Lift up, tap the ribs, lift up, tap your ribs. One more time. Lift, stay here. Lower your right knee. This is gonna be interesting, stargazer. Step the left foot and hold, kind of like in this, um, I call it stargazer, it's from my teacher. I love it. It's kind of like your, your left leg is like a warrior two stance, but the right leg is like a side, a modified side plank. We're gonna do, we'll, be, we'll return to this pose again a little bit later in class. But as you're here now, just lift the left elbow up. Let your head release. Open up the thoracic spine, the side seam of your rib cage. Then lower the left hand, left knee. Let's reach the right arm up to the ceiling. Thread your right arm under. And kick the left leg back. Hold. Then step the left knee in. Reach the right arm up. Step the right foot forward. Open up to warrior two. And let's reverse, reach up. 
side angle exhale reach up breathe in side angle exhale back stroke the left arm come forward into chair pose and hold interlace your hands together open up the chest and then put more weight into the right leg step the left foot back and hold here head is in neutral central channel long reach the left arm beside your ear and hold fire up your legs feel the stability so we get stable first that way when we rotate it really does feel amazing and lower your left hand down stabilize the shoulder blade on your back as you reach your right arm left ear relaxes and bring your right hand underneath the leg tap your left side ribs pull back up with the right arm and tap inhale exhale inhale exhale one more and breathe out lift up left knee down right leg back coming into stargazer and just opening up here in the right side body left ear drops might even close your eyes for a moment then look down lower the right hand right knee left arm reaches thread the left arm under and right leg goes back you can have a little bit of rotation here with the right hips staying for a moment and the rotation in the hip is really there um, by itself you know opening up the pelvis that will that might make it a little bit harder to balance so you get that stability in the pelvis rotate in the hip and bring the right knee down lift the left arm up step your left foot forward open up to warrior two and breathing here reverse warrior side angle reverse breathe in side angle back stroke the right arm come up to to uh, tree pose sorry tree to chair pose holding and come up to stand palms together at the heart exhale here let's put these two sequences together reach your arms up exhale fold step your right foot back lower the right knee toes are tucked as you rise up to low lunge pull like panini panini press the core hold and instead of bringing the fingers to the to the sternum bring your hands behind your head holding the back of the head pull the ribs in like you did when you had the thoracic extension over the block and then pull the elbows in bring the chin to the chest and then float back up nice and easy bring the chin to the chest curl in keep pulling up in the abdominals and open up one more time exhale and rise up hold and then just for a little fun dip dip the uh, left elbow down and the right elbow up and come back to center let's turn to goddess pose here and as you're holding goddess pose instead of pulsing up and down we're actually going to circle it and um, circulate here so circle to the right and let's circle the other way ah uh, good movement here maybe a little bit different than what we've done before but hopefully it feels like some nice novel movement 
And let's turn to the back of the mat, step into down dog. In down dog, turn your knees to the right, toes, knees and toes to the right. Then shift forward into plank. Down dog, toes and knees to the left. Shift forward to plank. Down dog, knees and toes to the right. Shift forward to plank. To the left and plank. To the right and plank. One more time to the left and plank. Hold, lower knees, lower the rest of your body. This time reach your arms back, lifting into locust. And your, leg, your lower legs can lift as well. Head is buoyant. This is one of my favorite poses for a thoracic extension. Hands to the floor. Let's push up to down dog. Lifting up. Cross your right foot so your pinky does match up and walk your hands back. So your heels may have already gone straight to the floor this time. And as you're here, fingertips can be as wide as the mat and maybe a little bit forward of the shoulders as you rib rock side to side. And let's turn to the left until so your left leg is forward. Reach the right leg back, standing L. This is an opportunity now if you would like to lean into the shoulders, lean into the arms. You push off the left toes. Maybe for a little handstand play, if you're feeling a little bit more prepared for something like that. And step down, come into chair, and then we swoosh, chair, stand up. Swoosh, chair, stand up. Swoosh. A few more like that. You can make some new ways. You can exhale big. And then we'll come up, hands together at the sacrum, a little bit of a fold, like a tilted chair. And step the right foot back, holding, reach the right arm forward, left arm back this time, hold steady, stabilize before you rotate. It'll make you feel even greater. And then rotate to the left. Now you're, as you're here rotating to the left, you are doing this like, um, really actively from the thoracic spine, from the obliques. They are our friends. Right hand down. And this is gonna be different now. Let's straighten the left leg. And then as you bend it, tap your ribs with the left hand. Extend the left leg, rib tap. Extend the left leg, bend it, rib tap. Extend to straighten, rib tap and bend. Extend to straighten, rib tap and bend. One more time. And then we lower the right knee down, stargazer, left leg back, open up. This is going to be a little bit different too. Left knee down, left arm under, right leg back. Thread the needle. We're going to repeat that. Right knee down, left arm up, left elbow up, stargazer. Left arm down, right leg back. Thread the needle. Right knee under, stargazer. Two more times. Hold. You could probably do that for like an hour. <laughs> and step your left foot forward. Open up to warrior two. <sighs> Hands behind your head. Easy, neutral neck so it's parallel to the floor. Extend your left leg for a triangle variation as you side lean to the left. I'm not worried about you rotating your ribs up although I know you have space to do that now. Really just think about leaning to the left from the hip crease and come back up. 
and then lean to the left. It's, it's helpful you can bring your hands to the sides of the ribs instead, and then come back up. Bend the knee, then extend the knee, side lean. Come back up, bend the knee, straighten it, and side lean. So what's cool is that when you feel your rotation, it's really clear, you know when you're rotating and when you're not, then it really, it brings more movement variability, more movement control. And we can backstroke this right arm, come into chair and stand up. Exhale, fold forward. Step the left foot back, lower the left knee, rise up. Panini press the core. I think that's funny. <laughs> We're gonna hold that pull, and pull the right heel back, lift knee forward. Get super stable. Then bring hands behind your head. Elbows come in, chin comes in, and we move the this part of the spine right around like the back of the heart back. And then come up. Exhale, pull it in. Then come up. Exhale, pull it in. Come up. Stay here. Dip the right elbow down and the left elbow up. As you're doing this, note that you're keeping space in the lower back and really using the side seam of the left leg and maybe even a little bit of the front of the left leg. Tailbone is down. And rise back up. Open to goddess to the left. And let's circle the pelvis. And circle the other way. Turn to the back of the mat. Downward dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Turn your toes and knees to the left, come forward to plank. Toes and knees to the right, come forward to plank. Knees and toes to the left. Keep going like this. What's awesome is that the more you, the, the more we, the further we get into the practice, the warmer you are, the more movement you have, the more, uh, the more we can do together. Because you've already set the stability, now we can add in that awesome mobility. Come to down dog, come forward to plank, lower all the way. Locust pose, you could also try for bow by bending the knees and lifting up the chest. Release whatever you have, push up to down dog. This time cross the left ankle in front of the right and walk your hands back until both heels are on the floor. Fingertips as wide as your yoga mat and just a little bit of a rib rock side to side. Then turn to your right, slide the right foot back, lift the left leg into standing L. Palms can be on the blocks, palms can be on the floor. You're also welcome to lean into the hands, feel the scapula on your back. Maybe push off the toes for a little handstand hop, holding control as much as you can. It's almost like your ribs are, when they're open, you can actually do a little bit more movement. And stand up, exhale, chair swooshes. Two more. And nice. Hands behind your back. Open up here. Tilted chair. More weight into your right foot as you step your left foot back and hold. Stabilize in your legs. Panini press your whole body. <laughs> and reach your left arm by your ear. Right arm by your ear. I mean by your spot. Your side body, and a little bit of a rotation in the ribs here. Really use the obliques. It's like when our body, when, the, when our muscles and joints move in their optimal way, we can feel nice, we can feel so much more aligned 
and resilient, adaptable. Lower the left hand, reach the right arm, and then rib tap. As you reach up, straighten the right leg as much as you'd like. And then tap, straighten, tap, straighten, tap, straighten, tap, and straighten. One more time, tap, and straighten, hold, bend the knee, lower the left knee, stargazer, right elbow up. Holding. Now, here's our move. Lower the right knee, right arm under, left leg reaches back. Pull the left knee in, stargazer open. Right arm under, left leg back. Left knee down, right leg up, and you're welcome to take this even slower than I am. You can go very slow. If you're feeling super energetic and integrated um, and like you're used to this kind of movement, then you can go a little bit faster if you'd like to, right? Always practice in the way that makes your body feel balanced and vibrant. Like you're in a moving meditation. Again, I could just do this for like a long time, but we're going to stay here and step the right foot forward, open up to warrior two. Let's bring the hands behind the head or beside the ribs if that felt like a really useful way to maintain your movement. Strain the right leg and move laterally into triangle. And come back, bend the right knee. Could also add a little bit of a reverse. Didn't do the, we didn't do on the other side, but that's okay. Again, straighten. Side bend into triangle. Trikonasana. Come back up. Bend the right knee and side bend to reverse. Let's do that two more times. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Come back to center. Swing forward to stand in Tadasana and let your arms dangle. Let's come to lay down onto your back. Hopefully you're feeling, hopefully your thoracic spine feels hydrated and incredible and more spacious for breathing and for you to feel like you can and for you to stand tall feel your breath or sense your breath begin to slow down sense your heart rate begin to slow down to a more neutral rhythm And you're welcome to stay here and straighten your legs out in front of you, taking a Shavasana for five, or 10, even longer if you'd like to. And if you're ready to move into the rest of the day or when you're ready to move into the rest of the day, you can come back and finish up the class with me. Go ahead and reach your arms back as you reach through your legs. And then bring your knees into your chest. And let's rise up. Coming into your tall seat. 
tuning in to your body, tuning into your breath. Tuning into your posture and settling in to your full form right now, your truest form. Steady, comfortable. And take that with you into the day. Let's reach up together, inhaling. Palms together at the heart as you honor your practice, honor the time you, your effort and your ease and your time spent practicing, filling your cup so you can be good to others. Let's bow together. Rise up when you're ready. Lower your hands and open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining class today. I'll see you in the next one.